Hello, I'm Boneblocks. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to use decals to detail your scenes. This video is not about importing these images, but instead how to use them. I already have a video up about how to import them into Roblox Studio. I will be using four different decal examples to use and I will be providing them in the description below. And we will be doing this example on these wall segments here. Generally, you'd want to use this decal for more dirty builds or more realistic stuff. Stuff where you want it to look like it's been used and worn down. With this one, you can use it for quite a few things. For example, this is meant to be a window. You can put it on this as a way to diffuse and add sort of a mocking ambient occlusion to the window and add shadows to the outline. Before we get to our next example, did you know I'm doing a $50 USD Robux gift card giveaway for Christmas? And the only requirements to join are to follow my Twitter account and follow me on Roblox, which I'll be linking in the description. To enter the giveaway, you have to go to my Discord server and go to the giveaway channel and just press enter. The next one we are using is this halftone grime one, which we can use for more anime stylized ones, which give us a more Marvel Rival style decal grime and I really like this one a lot. I made this one myself. I'm a big fan of it and it's one of my favorite ones to use. This one here is pretty easy to use. It is just a simple gradient and you can use this one just to emphasize the darker spots at the top like this. Typically if we go to this spot here you can turn down the transparency, turn it up and change how dark it is. Sometimes it doesn't need to be fully dark, but you can just do this to show that it's meant to be a dark spot in here. Another major example of using these decals are to diffuse lighting, such as this one. You can see that the neon is very bright and has a lot of bloom, but if we put it under here, you can see it gets a lot darker. So bright and then just helps make it easier on the eyes. I've discussed this a few times before in the past. The next thing I want to discuss is optimization. Each one of these images is classed as a single draw call to the Roblox engine. And what that means is every time you have one of these images, Roblox has to load it in. And typically Roblox does a good job at optimizing this and batching them together. However, it is still its own instance and it will lag if you use too many of them. On the bottom left you can see my total draw call increasing bit by bit and if we go further out it gets easier because Roblox does have an inbuilt LOD system to make it more performant further away you are. Such as if we have all these it will be 43 total draw calls. If we get closer it jumps up to 300 and this is not a very performant manner for a lot of games however it is not a massive jump if your world is already pretty realistic and around that sort of draw call. This is an existing map that I have previously worked on and it does use those half tone decals that I mentioned and let's have a look at what happens if we just remove those because they take up a great deal of the map's details. You can see that it just simply becomes less lively without them. The same can be said about this scene, which I built a while ago. And we can just remove the small amount of decals in this one. There are not too many decals, however, there are a few little ones, which I think can help amount to it more than the larger ones. Having the tiny little tints, which make it a bit more detailed. Generally, the whole idea of this is to create little planes of images which can greatly help increase the detail and idea that you are trying to convey with your build. Such as this build. Initially the image I am conveying is a dark, dirty and dusty warehouse. Sci-fi build and if we go to this and simply remove all these decals again we see it becomes a lot cleaner and more white. <laughs> It simply conveys a different message from before. This has been a pretty short video today, but I hope it is rather informative and I wish I could show more use case around 
way you could use these, but I just wanted to bring attention to the fact that these can help increase detail by a ton. And they can definitely help convey whatever message you are trying to convey in your build. For instance, you can do a horror style build with these, or a cartoon style build, or anything that needs some sort of diffusing in the texture and colour. My main goal for this is to motivate you to build something. If you learnt something this video, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and join the description below to enter my giveaway. Thank you.